Hi, so I was thinking about the Raspberry Pi and I looked at the video the other day on um, um, the cluster server they did with the Raspberry Pi and they basically built the framework out of Lego and I saw that and I thought why not, I can do that. I have a Raspberry Pi case already and it does provide access to the GPIO ports but what it doesn't do is provide um, a mounting for uh, additional expansions like adding fans and things and and this is the sort of domain that um, these Lego Technic sets may well fill. Uh, my basic idea is to build a very basic frame and use these holes um, in the Lego Technic to um, to poke the GPIO wires through um, and that's the basic idea I've got at the moment um, and mount the breadboard directly on top uh, and that way I can just uh, um, sort of uh, work directly on the um, and the breadboard itself without worrying too much about um, the Raspberry Pi. Now there was some electronics in here originally. Um, uh, it looks like there's a motor and some uh, some fiber optics. Now I'm not sure if that's in here anymore. To be honest, this set is God knows how many years old. I um, mean, you've got kind of a wire thing here. Um, but I can't see sort of battery packs or anything, as you can see it's all a big horrible jumble of a mess. Oh, actually there might be the motor. So I found the motor, um, and that's useful as well. If that motor still works, then uh, I may be able to send signals back and forth and, uh, and do interesting things that way. So yeah, I'll have to rumble, r rummage through this and, uh, and see what I can... I can produce with it. Um, so yeah, the Raspberry Pi and a Techno Lego, Lego set may well be fun. So this rather fashionable item is what I've been left with. I won't claim to be a very good Lego Technic builder, um, but we've got access. Well, I've got access to the um, the circuit board at top or the breadboard, I should say. Put a motor on the side. Got the power point there for the actual board itself. Um, that's just a 555 timer chip, um, which I'll work on later. And uh, I've just wrapped the cable around here because it's quite long. And, uh, and all I'll do is, um, it's a 9 volt supply, so I'll need to find some way of putting 9 volts into that um, if I want to use the motor. And then under here, I've got the actual Raspberry Pi itself. Um, so that's the, uh, the composite video and the um, analog audio out. And then over here, I've got the Ethernet and um, uh, USB. And across this side, as you can see, it's quite old because it's yellowy in parts. Um, I've got the uh, um, that piece may be in the way, so I may need to remove that bit there. In fact, yeah, what I'll do is that I'll move that bit um, down there into that space, and that'll give me the same sort of support, and it'll give me more access to the um, HDMI port. Um, so yeah, that's the HDMI there. Uh, which is slightly blocked, so I'll change that. Um, as you can see, it's got space there for the SD card and for the uh, the power port, and it's got quite a lot of air around it, so it's well ventilated, um, which means those two um, copper heat sinks inside will be able to do their job. 
I've got my uh, GPIO ports there and uh, what I'm basically going to do at some point is get a, a series of jumper cables and feed them through those holes there up into the board and along this roll here and, uh, and then I'll mark down exactly um, which pin it is and uh, and I can just then sort of take jumpers from the the, uh, the feeds here into the main board itself. Um, so that's a general idea. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I won't claim it's a pretty piece, um, but you know it's a free te Lego Technic set I've got, and uh, and it's sturdy enough. So uh, I mean it'll fall to pieces if I drop it any great distance but uh, but you know it's a computer I shouldn't be dropping it any great distance anyway so uh, that's just more incentive to uh, keep the whole thing intact so there you go there's the Lego um, Technic case I've made um, I may dismantle it and try other combinations um, but again as I say it might not be pretty but uh, it should do the job quite f well it should just do the job